So guys, before we get started, don't forget we do have that amazing discount code, thanks to Tier Zero Games, going on right now. And all you have to do is put in Z W Games five to get five percent discount on your total order at tierzerogames.com. The links will be in the description below. What's up, YouTube? Dow here from Z4 Games, bringing you, as promised, a test and video for Thunder Dragon Chaos. Now, two changes that I've made to the deck is we do play the Chaos Creator. Um, and I have added Reaper Donkus into the extra deck. So what I'm going to do, as promised, is do two test turns going first, two test turns going second, and it will show you the offensive nature of Titan and the defensive nature of the Achatos. Now, um, there are two different rulings on the Achatos as to whether it needs to destroy or not. Uh, I'm going to try and make the plays for both. If we have the ability to destroy, we will. If we don't, um, well, I mean, it doesn't make too much of a difference. You can play it around quite a bit, um, so I'll show you as we go. Before we get started, please smash the like button, hit the notification bell, and subscribe so we can keep bringing you awesome Yu-Gi-Oh! content like this. Um, with that said and done, after a very decent shuffle and a good old cut, our opening hand of five will be one, two, three, four, five. Fast Tid. So, so cool already. Um, so it really depends on what you want to search. Um, off of your chaos space. So <clears throat> you've got both light and dark access. Um, trying to think what the best. We've got the Wyvern Buster, which is fine. So, I mean, we're going to get combo from here. So you're going to go chaos space, send your dragon raw. Oh, hello. Uh, you're then going to search out your white Wyvern Buster. Where are you? There you go. White dragon Wyvern Buster. That's then going to go to the graveyard. You're then going to banish the roar. We're going to do the roar. Uh, that is going to trigger Raw's effect, and that will summon down any kind of Thunder Monster you, you, you kind of want onto the board. I say Thunder Monster, Thunder Dragon, um, and we're going to go with, I mean, we've got Dark. Dark will let us add anything, so it will let us add Hawk when we link it away. Uh, Hawk will try and fix our hand. I think we're going to go for the Gamble on this one. So we're going to go with Hawk, purely because I, I, I'm literally planning to Gamble this one. This is just to get to the Ajatos. Uh, we're then going to discard the Thunder Dragon to get two more because then it means we can shuffle and draw more back in. I know it's a bit of a risk and reward, but you know, we'll see how it works. Where are you? Thunder Dragon, there we go. We're going to be able to loop the Wyvern Buster as well, so don't worry about that. Shuffling that up. Because then what we're going to do is we're going to link these two together and we're going to go into the Reaper Donkus. Um, you could go into the IP if you really aren't feeling the uh, Achatos play, but with this what you can do is you're going to trigger uh, White Dragon Wyvern Buster and then Thunder Dragon Hawks. So make sure Wyvern Buster resolves first because you want to add uh, and then you want to shuffle. So you're going to add the Black Collapse Serpent. You're going to shuffle back the two Thunder Dragons and the Raw for three draws. There we go. Uh, and then obviously what we're going to be able to do is we're going to be able to technically get four draws out of this because we're going to be able to loop the Wyvern Buster um, and get another monster to the board. So after a very decent shuffle and a good old cut, our draw of three will be one, two, three. Broken, broken, absolutely broken. So yeah, this is insane. Uh, Black Collapse Owners Effect is going to banish the Wyvern Buster to bring him down. Now normally you could use Nemesis Flag to spin it back. We're actually going to use Chaos Flag to put it to the bottom of the deck and draw one card. Oh, broken! What the heck? We haven't used Lup Lupine's normal summon effect and we haven't been able to banish the Thunder Dragon Dark off of it yet. So this is insane. We've got so much to do right now. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to spin back the raw, put that back into the deck through Nemesis Flag. We're going to use Nemesis Flag's effect to search out uh, the Arch Nemesis Ejatos because it contains Nemesis in the name. There we go. Going to shuffle that up. Uh, if we want to, we can normal summon and go further, but ideally, we just need to get three different uh, into the graveyard, which, by going Pyro, Dragon, um, and then we've already got the Funders in there, we've already done that. Um, all you need to do is link these off, which is pretty easy to do. Um, the only downside is we actually want to keep the Reaper Donkus, so... Um, just trying to figure the best play around this one. Um, it really depends on what your opponent's playing. That's the other issue. Um, so, da, 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 da. trying to think the best way to go with this. 
Nor the Lufa Lupine. Lufa Lupine's effect to banish uh, Thunder Dragon Dark. And we're going to banish, because we've used the other two already, we're going to banish the Matrix. Because the Matrix will then allow us to add another copy of itself. And Dark will allow us to add a Thunder Dragon card. So we're going to add Thunder Dragon Fusion. And we're going to add Thunder Dragon Matrix. There we go. Now, we still need to get these monsters in the graveyard. That's the biggest issue of going Reaper early. Maybe it, we still need to, to point to something. Disappointing. Um, yeah, okay, this is, a, this is where it gets a little bit clogged up. Um, because what we need to do is we need to ideally get these monsters off the board to put the three different types into the graveyard. Um, we can banish them from the face up on the field, um, which isn't the end of the world. I suppose that's kind of half of the route we're going to have to go with this one. So we're going to banish Flag, we're going to banish... Uh, Lupine, and we're going to banish Hawk. There we go. So we're going to banish three of those. We're going to bring down the Arch Nemesis. Now, if it needs to destroy something, um, you need to make sure there's a monster that goes under here. So that's probably where you'd put um, Dragon Collapse Serpent. If it doesn't need to destroy anything, then you put him there. Um, so that really does come down to the uh, official ruling on it. I, I'm not 100% sure on it. But you can see that we've got the options to do both. I would like to think it needs to destroy something, otherwise it's just crazy broken. Um, anyway, so the way this would then declare is you'd then use Reaper Donkers, turn whatever it points to, to a card you know your opponent's playing. So if they're playing Spellcasters, if they're playing um, Zombies, if they're playing um, Cyverse right now, as long as you know, you call it, you hit it, otherwise you're going to blind call it to destroy it. Um, then of course if you do end up destroying Collapse Serpent, you'll then get the search off of that as well, so entirely up to you on where this goes. Um, remember that Echatos can't be destroyed by card effect, which is broken already. Uh, you've got reasoning to extend further if you want, otherwise you just play the Thunder Dragon Fusion, you put back your um, Hawk, your Matrix, and your Dark. There we go, they all go back into the deck. You then sit on a Titan, uh, you've also got one pop with the Matrix. Uh, and then what we'll do is we'll quickly play through this just to kind of say it. So let's say, let's say the Reaper Donkus had to destroy. So we'll put Black Collapse up in there. We'll have to destroy Black Collapse, and we call Wyvern, and we've called correctly. So we're going all on the plus side. We're going to hold on to the reasoning. There's no need to drop it right now. It's just an additional extension. Um, and then what you're going to do is you're going to pass. Now your opponent's not going to be able to special summon anything. So all they're going to do is be able to set a card. So then what you're going to do is during the end phase is you can use Titan's effect, uh, or sorry, Thunder Dragon Matrix effect to discard itself to give Titan an additional 500. Then use Titan's effect to pop the card that's been left there. Uh, unless there's back row and then you just take out one of the back row cards, which is absolutely fine. You're then going to draw for your turn. Doesn't really matter too much for me. You can use um, Raw's effect to go, okay, discard, add back Thunder Dragon, Titan, pop. Uh, Thunder Dragon, pop, search out. And then you'll repeat, Thunder Dragon, pop, search out. And you've now popped four cards, technically off a of Titan. You still have the Wyvern Buster that can go off by banishing the Dark. So there you go, you go Banish Black Collapse Serpent, bring down the Wyvern Buster. Effective Corridor, to target a banished card, put it back into the deck, so you put Black Collapse Serpent back into the deck. You can then link those three up together, go into pretty much whatever you want. We're gonna go uh, Appalooza because we can. Uh, white Collapse is going to add, uh, sorry, White Wyvern is going to add Black Collapse. Yeah, I'm going to banish the White Wyvern, bring this down here. Uh, I think Corridor could actually target, uh, could have brought back Flag as well. So <laughs> I rushed ahead, but this would then add back Flag. You can then use Flag's effect to target the White Wyvern, put it back into deck. Um, and then you can use Nemesis Flag's effect, search you out. Corridor. Still have reasoning, still have a normal summon, broken. Um, and then it really depends on where you want to go from here. And you just go, oh yeah, cool, boom. Uh, if they somehow survive it after popping four cards of the Titan, locking them out with a Chatos, um, then you just go, okay, Chatos is effect. Cool, because you now know what they're playing. Call it, destroy it, go from there. So yeah, broken, absolutely broken. Uh, and that was being played with a Chatos having to destroy it and not having to destroy it. The massive difference is placement uh, and just kind of general advantage after that, like what monsters you have left. I mean, this deck is insane. If Colossus was back at one, ugh.
like actual. Ugh. Anyway, shuffling it up, we're gonna do our second test stand going first. You see that the first test stand, you kind of really need to get to Echatos. That's your best play. Titan's good as long as you've got a dark and a matrix in the hand, uh, and then you kind of back it up from there. So after another decent shuffle and a good old cut, our opening hand of five will be one, two, three, four, five. The cards you never want to see, but it's still very, very good. Because what we're going to do is we're going to normal summon our Luf Lupine. Luf Lupine's effect is going to go off to banish the Thunder Dragon himself. And that is then going to trigger to banish the same type from deck, which will be our Thunder Dragon Roar. Our Thunder Dragon Roar is going to go off. And that is going to let us special summon our Thunder Dragon Dark. Or Hawk, if you want to try and fix your hand. Entirely up to you on where you want to go from here. I mean, the hand doesn't need to be fixed too badly, because what we're going to do now is we're going to use Nemesis Flags effect. Uh, we'll put him here, and we're going to spin the Thunder Dragon back to our deck. And all you really need to do from here is you need to go one, uh, sorry, use Nemesis Flags effect to search out your Arch Nemesis. Are you? There we go. It's Chatos, yes. Uh, now it is all about just getting the three different types in graveyard, which by linking those three up, you do. Um, but then you need to be getting into your um, Reapadonkus. Brain went a little bit numb there. Um, I mean, if this was Hawk, you'd fix it a little bit. This is just going to search out Hawk anyway, which is going to give you the three. So you'd go those two there. Go into Reaper Donkus. Dark's effect is going to go off, uh, and Dark will search you out. Hawk. And then what we're going to do from here is we're going to go. I'm trying to think on the best one on this one because we've got to get. Nemesis flag to the graveyard. So what you'd have to do is you'd have to go discard the hawk, bring back the raw, link these two together. Sacrificial lamb, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, actually, was the Ma would the matrix? No, you couldn't have done the matrix. Matrix might have been a little bit better, but we we'll go into IP Mascarina, point it to Reaper Donkey's zone. Uh, if Jados comes down um, by banishing Pyro, Thunder, and Beast. There we go. Uh, Ishatos is effect, uh, or Reapadonkis target the IP. Ishatos effect, destroy the IP. A um, little bit of sacrificial land, but you kind of, you know, that's what you have to do with Ishatos. Um, then you're going to activate the Thunder Dragon Fusion if you want to. This will shuffle some of your stuff back, give you a Titan, but you've not really got anything to trigger the Titan off of. Um, so you can just hold on to that. Your opponent is not going to make any plays. You've locked them out of Ishatos. You're going to pass. Um, they're going to set one, you're going to draw, not bad. Uh, so you've got Thunder Dragon Fusion plays. The only difference through all of this is if you did the Hawk effect to draw instead of the summon, these would go back into the, the deck and you'd hope to draw some form of extender or some form of something else to help you make this combo live. Um, we did have to use IP as a sacrificial kind of card, but pff, what does it matter? Uh, and just for the, those that are a little bit confused, what I mean by a Chatos not having to destroy is if um, Reaper Donkus points to a Chatos, uh, a Chatos can't be destroyed by card effect. So you can declare to use its effect, call in, making, uh, getting Reaper Donkus to make it whatever you want, declare to use uh, a Chatos' effect, a Chatos' effect will attempt to destroy, um, a Chatos can't be destroyed by card effect, so then the, some rulings that I've seen is that it still applies and some it doesn't. So I personally think that the more logical one to me is that it wouldn't apply and it has to destroy a card rather than has to attempt to destroy a card. Um, but I am not a Konami judge. So um, most of the plays we've made is it is destroying a card. So I, I think that's just the safest route to go right now um, unless you know the exact rule. And if you do, uh, then let me know because if it doesn't have to destroy it, then broken as heck. Um, if it does, then not the end of the world in this deck because you can pump out that material with ease. Anyway, after another very decent shuffle and a decent cut, we're now going to go aggression. We're going to go with our Titan. We're not going to worry about the Echatos. We're going to go Titan, clear board, Titan, clear board, and then attack the game. So, after a very decent shuffle and another very decent cut, 
Our opening hand of five will be one, two, three, four, five. Followed up. Boom. Broken. Hello. Uh, this hand's actually nutty. Um, do I want a reason first or do I want a law first? That's a law first. So I mean, quite like I did in the Twilight Swan um, test hands, is I'm gonna go full powers if my opponent has no interruptions, but I'm gonna kind of see how far we can go. So the usual board has like three interruptions. So let's say they, they get rid of the first three cards we play, can we still play is technically the sense. So a law, broken, yes please. Banish the raw. <clears throat> Raw's effect's gonna go off, uh, and it's gonna special summon us. Dark, because we're going to want to get our final dragon fusion because we want to get Titan, and Titan is going to be the nuts. These nuts. There we go. Uh, one thing we don't play in this that we probably should, uh, rather than hard casting stuff, is like, I mean, kind of want to get into another thunder so that you can just tag it out. Um, so you banish a thunder monster from your hand and one thunder fusion monster that you control. Uh, but it's a little bit harder to kind of do right now because the instant fusion is at one and then. Um, there's no other way of making an, an easy fun diffusion monster, which is a bit like, ugh, okay. Uh, anyway, Dark's made it to the board. Nice. If I want to, I can use Hawk's effect to bring it back, which I eh, might as well do that now. Hawk, bring back the roar. Do the roar. Uh, collapse. Oh, hello. Collapse, banish the Hawk. Nice and easy on that one. Um, we've actually got the, you know, you can just go full aggression right now. Really don't like, you just don't even div about. You just go, okay, I'm going full aggression. Black collapse. Oh, actually, I need to get duo to the board. I wanted to go full aggression and just go untargetable BLS, but to be, ah, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. We're going aggression. We're going BLS. Who cares? Uh, Black dragon collapse. If you could get duo on the board, you'd make it even better, but. Um, what we're actually going to be able to do here is we're actually going to go a little bit further. So Wyvern Buster. And then what we're going to do is going to flag, put Hawk back to deck, summon it down. Uh, effective flag, search out Arch Nemesis. Oh, I missed the Dark as well. Dark was searched out the Fun Dragon Fusion. Whoa, got to remember those, that's important. That's very important. Cool, boom. Uh, and then we've got light and dark in the grave, so we're going to go... Uh, oh no, we don't. My bad. We don't have light and dark. We've only got darks. Uh, which is absolutely fine still. Uh, so we're going to bring out Wyvern Buster. We're going to banish the Black Collapse. You can link these two away if we want to. No real need to do it right now because we can get another monster on board. Because what we're going to do is we're going to use Corridor, spin back the Black Collapse, link all three of these together, go into... Unicorn, Unicorn's effect, can discard a card, I'm trying to think if I want to. <clears throat> uh, White Dragon Collapse is going to go off as well. Search out our Black Dragon Collapse Serpent. I mean, you could discard that, I suppose that's probably the weakest one right now. Um, we've already used it, so discard it, spin it, we're going for the OTK anyway. Uh, then going to use Thunder Dragon Duo's effect, so what have we got? We've got Dragon Thunder Pyro, so we need to keep those three in board. For the Achatos. So let's activate reasoning. Uh, in this deck, I have no idea what you would call. I mean, it's probably six, maybe. It's probably what you got most of. Uh, called it correctly, but that's actually really good because it gave us a light in the graveyard, which is fine because now what we can do is we're going to banish a light and a dark, bring down our duo. We're then going to use Arch Nemesis effect to banish a dragon, a pyro, and a thunder. Uh, let's make sure we put Roar there. Boom. Chatos is going to come down. We're going to activate Thunder Dragon Fusion. We're going to put down, put back Roar. Hawk. And Dark. Back into the deck. Boom. Boom. Can you play, bro? Uh, yeah. If you wanted to... Um, you could have done this a little bit differently. You could have gone into Reaper Donkus and then use the effect of a Chatos to nuke the board um, and then go from there. But this is just like power play. Roar. Cool. All right. Um, we wouldn't have been able to get to that much of a powerful board if our opponent had a couple of the, um, the gates in hand. We probably still would have been able to get into uh, the Chatos if played right because straight away you had um, 
all of your Thunder Dragon effects that were going off, and your opponent's like, naturally, he's going to be like, no, no, no. And you go, okay, cool. Let's start, you know, spinning stuff with this, some of this back. Let's start, you know, recycling all of this to then go into game in other ways. Anyway, let's shuffle this up. Let's go to our final test hand. This deck is nutty as heck. I love it. So cool. All right, so after a very decent shuffle and a good old cut, our opening hand of five will be one, two, three, four, five, and then six. Boom. I mean, the Matrix isn't amazing. It's not the end of the world, but it's not bad at all. Um, we've still got plays because of a lore. Like, this combo is nuts. Like, absolutely insane. You just go, all right, a lore. Uh, you, you kind of already want to banish before you draw. It's like, I don't care what I draw. I'm going to banish that anyway. Broken! This card is the nuts! I'm going to banish the raw. Effect to raw. Do the roar! Uh, is going to bring out... Do I want to try and fix my hand? I could do. I've got everything I need. Um, the Dark will just give me the guaranteed um, Hawk for the Hawk plays. Um, but yeah, I actually kind of want to attempt to fix my hand, which is fine. I'm going to use Flag's Effect just to get the two monsters on the board to put uh, Raw back into the deck. If I want to get another one on board, what I can do is we can use Thunder Dragon's Effect. That's going to drop down. Doggy's going crazy in the garden already. Stop with the Thunder Dragons. They should not be doing this without Colossus. That was my very, very bad Bane impression. Uh, <laughs> we're going to banish uh, Thunder Dragon to bring down the Collapse Serpent. We're going to use Flag's Effect, search out the Arch Nemesis. Uh, straight away, putting these three in the graveyard gives you Arch Nemesis plays as well. There we go. Um, I haven't used our normal yet. Beautiful. Uh, we're actually going to be able to fix our hand quite a bit, so I'm just going to look what our options are. I think we just go Aggression again. You can go into Unicorn if you want, but BLS is a boss. Uh, so you go into BLS, uh, you're going to send Black Collapse and Thunder Dragon Hawk. Again, make sure that Black Collapse goes off first. Search yourself out uh, the Wyvern Buster because you don't want to draw that Wyvern Buster off of the Hawk. So Wyvern Buster, and then we're going to put the Thunder Dragon. Uh, actually, no, we'll keep Thunder Dragon because we've got Titan plays. We're going to put the Matrix back. I want to put both copies back. Uh, oh, you know what? Let's put Thunder Dragon back as well. Whatever. Put the free back, we haven't normal summoned yet. If I draw into a matrix, then fine. Or if I draw into a thunder ring, then fine. Um, like I said, I've got the free materials in the graveyard straight away for the Ajados. If I wanted to, I could have saved the material and gone into um, Reapodonkus. So we're going to draw three. One, two, three. Mm, okay, I can, I can work with that. Uh, why then? Can banish Black Collapse, summon itself down. Um, reasoning, uh, again we're going to call six. Oh, five. That's kind of cool. Thunder Dragon hits the board. Nice! Um, we've got plenty of Thunders, we just need to get that Thunder Dragon to the grave, and then I can special summon or fusion summon into Titan. Um, so what have we got there? Uh, I can go to IP Mascarina, I can go into Reaper Donkers, you can pretty much go into whatever you want. Uh, you can normally summon the Matrix, but um, I kind of want to use its discard effect and then that at least trigger Titan once. Um, we've got Pyro, Thunder, okay. So it really depends on where you want to go from this. We've already used Raw's effect, so let's say we just link these two away. Let's go into... Um, I mean, it doesn't really matter too much. We just need to get a Link Monster from the board. Uh, then you're going to use Chatos's effect because you want to use and abuse as best as you possibly can. So you're going to banish uh, Hawk, Wyvern, and Flag. There we go. Put those there. And then what that's going to do is bring down the Chatos. Uh, you're then going to use your Thunder Dragon Fusion, spin back the Thunder Dragon, the Thunder Dragon, and your Dragon Hawk. Boom, those go back into the deck. Brings out your Titan. You can then use Matrix Effect, give Titan an extra 500 boost. Uh, that's going to obviously pop a card as well. Uh, and then what you can do from here, if you really, really wanted to, is you could link off, um, but there's no point in going any higher with what you've got right now. Um, 
you're pretty much set to go. You've got game. I mean, you've got BLS, you've got Echatos, you've got Titan, and then you've got Mascarina. Um, Titan's got enough to protect himself. Uh, IP Mascarina during your opponent's turn can give you a play into Unicorn as well. Um, Echatos, if it really, really wants to, can declare to use its effect uh, and call whatever you need to to destroy it. Uh, you've got Warrior, Thunder, Dragon, and Cyverse on your board to play around with. Um, so that pretty much shuts down salads quite nice and easily. Um, but by this point, they should already be set up. So all you're going to do is literally just poke away at their board and go from there. Uh, and then that should technically be game. I mean, you're sitting on 9,700 with just these here. Um, and then during your opponent's turn, you've got the ability to go into an Appalooza or, of course, a Unicorn um, by getting rid of these. These are of inconsequential use to you right now uh, and kind of move from there. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is it. Um, insane. Absolutely insane. Love this deck. So powerful. Um, so many plays that this deck can make. The, the Nemesis are absolutely broken. And as I showed you in all these test stands, if the ruling's correct, then every test stand I've done is just going to give you an additional monster to play around with. Um, if the ruling is incorrect and you do have to destroy with the effect, then you're going to have one less monster, which is absolutely fine because that's the way we've been doing these test stands anyway. So I've covered all bases. Woohoo! Uh, anyway, that is it for the test stands. I hope you like this. I hope this gave you a couple of ideas for yourself. I hope this gave you uh, a bit of an understanding for the deck as well behind it. Uh, very, very powerful. I absolutely love it. Uh, it's nice to have Fun Dragons kind of back in a slightly competitive manner. Um, the only downside is that we don't have Colossus. But, but, I completely understand that. I think if we had Colossus right now with the deck and the Chaos cards that we have, yeah, very, very sad days. Like, I mean, we saw this at the PPG. Very, very powerful deck. Definitely puts in some work. Um... And I think Colossus would just make this 10 times worse. Like, in a good way, but like 10 times worse to face. Anyway, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share. Until next time, guys, as always, happy dueling.